Hi, Miha. Welcome to Toy Princess. Today we're reading Minions Snow Day. This is a great book about the Minions. Minions Snow Day by Brandon T. Snyder, illustrated by Ed Miller, based on the motion picture screenplay written by Brian Lynch. Minion Snow Day These little guys are minions. Kevin is the thinker. He's protective of his pals. Stuart dreams of becoming a rock star. And Bob has a curious spirit. It's way too cold to go outside. The minions will become ice cubes in an instant. Better to stay in their cave and wait for the chilly winter to pass. Being inside for too long has Kevin, Stuart and Bob going a little bit crazy. Hopefully a new master will come along soon and save them from their boredom. In the meantime, they've got one another and that's pretty cool. Friends are the best. Kevin feels a drop of water on his head. That means the sun is out. Its heat is warming up the cave and causing the ice to melt. Soon the minions will be able to go outside without freezing their goggles off. They'll be able to do so many fun things once they're outside. Just imagine all the fun things they'll be able to do once they're outside. Time to break out the snow gear. Stuart and Bob could use a little help choosing the right clothes to wear. Don't worry, Kevin knows what to do. Bundle up warm and tight, minions. It's cold out there. Now that the minions are properly suited up, it's time for the final touch. A stick? No. A rake? Not quite. Sorry, Bob. A shovel? Ding, ding, ding! We have a winner! Watch out, Winter! Here come the minions! Now it's time to push that big boulder aside so they can leave the cave and enjoy the warm day. This isn't going to be easy. Oh no! The minions successfully move the boulder. But the cave entrance is blocked by snow. They'll have to dig their way through. It's a good thing they're prepared. There's one thing left to do. The minions begin digging their tunnel to freedom. Look at Bob go! The minion's shoveling has created a series of tunnels. Check it out! Bob finds something hidden in the snowbank. Bob discovers a bunch of his minion buddies and they're frozen solid. Don't panic, Bob knows the right thing to do, kind of. Kevin and Stuart have their own ideas of how to help, just in case. Once their friends have defrosted, Kevin, Stuart and Bob welcome their old pals with open arms. Yikes! Bob finds a polar bear trapped in the ice. Be careful, minion. This discovery could be in trouble. Now that the minions have dug themselves out of their icy home, they're ready to play. What should they do with all the extra snow? Hmm. Building an igloo is a difficult job. Thankfully, the minions know how to work together. Keep going, Stuart. Don't give up. Be careful, Bob. Ice can be slippery. Norbert, don't eat the ice. Dave, Paul, Henry, Brian and the other minions follow Kevin's lead. He knows what to do. The igloo is finally done. With pride, the minions gather around their beautiful new creation. Not bad, huh? Hey, check out Bob. 
There are so many cool things to discover inside the igloo. While the minions were working, the ice holding the polar bear melted. Whoops! Now he's looking for his next meal, isn't he? The good news, the igloo is amazing. The bad news, the polar bear agrees. Now the bear has made the minion's wonderful ice fortress his home. He still looks hungry, so the minions retreat to their ice cave. Bob and Stuart think about how to remove the polar bear from their igloo. They gather the other minions and show them their crazy ideas. Luckily, Kevin always has a plan. Kevin rallies his friends to take back the igloo. Minions attack! They've got their enemy on the run. Victory! Or so they think. The minions don't see the giant shadow behind them. Whatever it is, get the polar bear away with just one look. Now that there isn't any danger, the minions can finally play in peace. Bob makes a gigantic snow cone. Mmm, yummy. Norbert creates his very own snow minion. Impressive. Stuart is making snow angels. Ah, so cute. What a great day. While the others play, Kevin sees the real hero that saved them from the bear. But is it a friend or foe? Or maybe, just maybe, it's a brand new master. Kevin sure hopes so. After all, the minions deserve only the best. That's the end of our Minion Snow Day book. Don't miss the other books where we've got Minions Who's the Boss, Minions Book on the, of the Film, Long Live King Bob, Minions Seek and Find, Road to Villain Calm, Reusable Sticker Book, and Minions Punch Out Activity Book. I hope you enjoyed reading Minion Snow Day with me. Tune in for more story times and more Toy Princess.